this video, we're going to have a look at changing the result that we get in the ClassWiz's solve feature from a decimal solution to a fraction solution. Now this example came to me via a question that was asked on YouTube. Solve 4x plus 10 equals 5 minus 12x. We're going to input this into the ClassWiz at first, so it's 4x plus 10. Remember that we don't want to press the equals function, we want to insert an equals onto our line, that's alpha and calc, that will put an equal sign into our calculation line here, and it's 5 minus 12x. And then again, we don't want to press equals, we want to press shift and solve, and this will solve it for x. Now in the first instance here, we've got a previous value of x that we calculated, so you just need to press equals now in order for the class wizard to be able to solve this particular equation. And here we have our value of x, negative 0.3125. Now if we have a look at the question, we want to give this answer as a fraction. The class wizard has given us that answer as a decimal. And the simplest way that I found is to press ants and then press equals. And the calculator has expressed that now as an exact fraction, negative 5 over 16. So if it is possible for the calculator to express your result as a fraction, then this is the way that you're able to get the calculator to display it. And I just tried it with a few other values as well. I'd use some very simple equations, just mainly so I could get the result. I wanted this to be the result of a third, so I inputted 9x equals 3. So that's given it as the decimal value. We've just got 0.33, many threes in there. The suggestion is that's 0.3 recurring. Um, but if I press ants and equals, the class with has recognized that as being a third. Nine times a third gives you three, so the X would be a third in that case. And then I did another very simple equation just to test answers with pi. Six pi equals two X. And if we use the solve feature in the first instance, we have x equals 9.42 and so on. If we press ants and equals, that's given us the exact answer there of 3 pi. Two lots of 3 pi gives us 6 pi. So if the calculator is able to recognize the answer that's given as the exact value, you can just press ants and that will change it from the decimal display to the exact value. So there we go, how we can change from the decimal solution to a fraction or an exact answer if required. But that's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time on the Calculator Guide.